This video will discuss how to take images when your sample is tilted. Um, so this is something that can happen, for example, if you have uh, a slide where the cover slip extends um, to the edge and props it up from one side to the other. When that happens, um, as you move along the direction in which it's propped, what you can see is that while things may be um, inside the focal plane um, in the middle, as you move away, things come out of focus. So that if you were to take a tile of this, you would only see uh, a small portion of this in the middle in proper focus. Um, so what do you do when you're in a situation like that? Um, there are things that you can do to try and not have the slide be tilted, but if you have a cover slip that extends all the way to the edge, that is not something that you can typically solve after the sample has been prepared. Uh, luckily, the software has uh, a feature called focus surface and surface points uh, and support points which can help with the situation. So once you've created a tile that you want to image, you can add anchor points where you check the focus at those anchor points and the software will then uh, compensate in Z as it moves along. And there's different ways of doing this and you'll have to test the details, but for example, um, here you have two methods of adding points, generic and onion skin. Uh, and you can add a certain number of columns and rows of points. So for example, if we do something like this, if I select that, and uh, once I have this tile selected, let's say I want to add three by three generic points, it does this, it adds these anchor points, and then if you go to verify and go to live, we can move to the current point, we can go here and adjust the focus until we have something, set Z and move to next, Similarly, adjust it here, set Z and move to next. And as we do this, we're giving it a map of how it's tilted, essentially. This looks good. Okay, so now once all points have been done, um, now we have this focus map, and if we say start experiment, it will take images taking into account these differences in focus. So it's not taking them all at the same same excuse me position, it's taking them um, sort of tilted, uh, making them overall quite even. If we tried to do this without this uh, sort of focus support surface, what we would get instead is just only the middle in focus. So this can be a really useful strategy if you're stuck with a slide where the tissue is uneven. Uh, this can allow you uh, to um, compensate for that during the imaging. And just like any other, uh, you can go ahead and you know stitch it uh, here um, to fuse the tiles together. And you can see it's not perfect. There are some artifacts, but it, it, it's, it's way better than if you tried to do it um, without any kind of um, support surface. Uh, there are other things that you can do. You can change um, uh, you know, the, the type of support surface you have. Like you can make it a tilted plane or you can make it something that uh, can be more wavy. Um, and so that's something that you sort of have to check on your end what the what the best model is. Uh, but this can be, um, in general, a very effective uh, effective solution for cases of tilted samples.